think it's because 2.2 is finally going to come out in 2021. I, I don't think RobTop's going to make us wait five years for the next major update. I think he will release 2.2 sometime this year. Next topic, I'm going to be talking about some demon list stuff, extreme demons, whatnot. I think Tartarus is still going to remain at the top of the demon list, or near the top of the demon list, I should say, because there are a couple levels I think that will get verified and placed above Tartarus during 2021. Firework is set to be a number one extreme demon, which means it's gonna be harder than Tartarus. Another top one contender is Sonic Wave Infinity, which is being verified by my boy Zanny. They're both planned to be harder than Tartarus, which is why I believe Tartarus will be at number three on a demon list by the end of 2021. Another level I'd like to discuss the placement of is Bloodlust. Bloodlust is at number 12 right now, and I believe by the end of 2021, Bloodlust is going to be at around 22nd place. That's right, I think there will be 10 more levels added to the demon list that are above Bloodlust difficulty. Next, I have to talk about Bloodbath, which is the level that Bloodlust was based off of. Right now, since it's been so long since it came out, it's currently at number 140 on the demon list. So it's really close to falling off the top 150 and off the demon list for good. And I think that Bloodbath will definitely, definitely fall off by the end of 2021. But more specifically, I think it's going to fall off in the next 47 days. Why do I think 47? Well, it's because we only need 10 more levels that get verified. All right. Enough of demonless placements, we're gonna talk about stats viewer placements. Right now, I'm currently the number one player in the Geometry Dash stats viewer by quite a significant margin. I have about five and a half thousand demonless points with the second place player having about 3,000 something. So I'm ahead by about 2,000 points or so, which is a lot when you think about it. And even though I'm not really playing this game much anymore, I still think that I will remain number one by the end of 2021, simply because of how far ahead I am right now. However, there there is a chance that someone could take the number one spot for me in 2021. One of those players is GD Wolves, who is a really, really talented Geometry Dash player who is capable of beating the top levels like the Golden and Tartarus. Speaking of my stats replacement, I have... 71 out of 75 of the mainless demons completed. I used to have all of them completed, but since then a couple levels have been added. But right now I have 71 out of 75 mainless demons complete. By the end of 2021, I believe that I will have about 36 out of 75 mainless demons complete. Another prediction I have is gonna be about how many extreme demons there will be in this game at the end of 2021. So right now, at the moment, there are about 300 extreme demons in Geometry Dash that you can go ahead and try to beat right now. By the end of 2021, I feel like there are gonna be around 400 or 450 extreme demons. This is because I think the rate at which extreme demons get pumped out is based on the general skill of the playing community but anyway that's all i have for this youtube video if you liked make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that according to youtube statistics a large majority of you are not subscribed to my channel so if you like my content subscribe it's free you can always change your mind later you know what never i'm not going to do this now people have been speculating on when 2.2 is going to come out for almost four years now. Like people thought it would come out in 2017, then people thought it would come out in 2018, then 2019, then 2020, and of course we didn't get it in any of those years. So it's been almost four years since the last major update to the game.